Hey guys, Christian with Dumblewire. Today we got these uh, two ponds right behind us here. And in between the two ponds, there's some sort of current going between it. Just a slight current. So we're going to start off attacking it with some uh, moving reaction baits. And if that slows down, if that doesn't produce, we're going to um, slow it even more down. And we're going to start throwing some plastic, some, maybe some jigs or some uh, Texas rig worms. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to tie on this original chatterbait with a little uh, shad trailer. I'm going to see if we can produce something out of this uh, little current. Wow. Not a big one, but I landed him. Jeez. I just let it drop and <laughs> the thing came out of nowhere. Alright, so as you noticed, uh, I had a, quite a few misses on this chatterbait. Um, they were chasing it down, they were uh, trying to attack it, um, they weren't committing completely to it, so I had maybe three to four misses, um, some on camera, some off of it. So I'm going to switch over to a rattle trap, which obviously has two treble hooks. Um, that will probably increase the odds of hooking up with the fish. But uh, what the rattle trap also has, in this case, I have BBs in it. Um, it's a red eye shad, so it's got a nice vibration and it's got that nice loud rattle. Okay, so my theory about improving my hookups um, was wrong. Despite the fact that I have a million hooks on my rattle trap, I still can't hook them. Maybe it's just me. Jaws all messed up. It's having a rough time. Let's get him back in. Nice little rattle trap bass. Little dink. Still pretty. 
So, uh, I'm having a dink fest over here. Feel free to join. Chunky little guy. Look at that belly. He's got a nice little belly on him. It's gonna be a big bass one day. This is a much nicer looking bass. Nice chubby, thick looking rattle trap bass. So what I'm doing with this rattle trap is besides swimming it at a, uh, at a consistent retrieve, I'm giving it quick little bursts of speed. So I'm kind of burning it for a second and then going back to steady retrieve, burning it and a steady retrieve. That little burn when you pull or you quick you quickly reel up some slack, it gives it that, that quick little burn through the water and those fish are just killing it. It's a pretty nice rattle trap bass if you ask me. That thing's beauty. Look at that tail. Alright, so today I caught a lot of fish, but I also lost a lot of them. Um, chatterbait came through for me a few times, rattle trap really came through, uh, but the fish that I lost, um, I was, it was a combination of me being too eager to get them up and just not really consciously aware, uh, consciously aware of how tight I was pulling on the line while I was trying to grab them. Uh, that's 100% my fault, but, uh, I was also in the middle of a lot of brush, so I was kind of dealing with the elements, trying to pull them up as quickly as I can, but also giving them that time to kind of wear themselves out. So lesson learned, when you guys are out there fishing, take your time, let that fish run around a little bit if you can, uh, tire them out just a tad bit, and then it should, be land, uh, should make landing a fish a lot easier. Today, I think my emotions got the best of me and I was just too eager to get them up, so I lost a ton of them. But as always, thanks for watching. You know where to reach me on Facebook and on Instagram. And until next time, see ya!